What is up lads and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about V1.1.4, a bit of an update with the eFootball Championship Open and the rankings and stuff and then also just having a, a, a bit of a discussion and showing you a couple of clips of what I think really needs a lot of work and what I hope to see fixed in V1.1.4. Yeah, I mean, just starting us off, right, there was a bit of an update that was posted today, just about an hour ago. The ranking update, which was originally planned for today, which will now take place on Thursday. So we're just going to line that up with the V1.1.4 release. We intend to carry out more thorough investigations regarding the potential breaches. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience caused. So if you've missed this, if you missed my last video where I talked about the cheaters and stuff, there seems to be a big issue at the moment and a big problem at the moment with people that are manipulating their results, scoring way, way, way too many unrealistic goals to have an unbelievably high um, goal ranking. And as I said, I'm not throwing any you know accusations out at anybody. This is the official ranking website here at the moment. So this is the EU PlayStation platform and area region. And as you can see here, uh, the top ranked player has got 380 goals scored and two conceded in 15 games. So as I said, lads, look, there is absolute monsters out uh, that play this game. There's monsters out there that play this game. They play 40, 50 hours a week. And, you know, they are able to learn the mechanics instantly. They're able to learn all the animations, the patterns, everything, and able to just smash people 10, 15, 20 nil. But I think personally for me, I've played enough matches to have gone up, you know, four, five, six nil at half time, or maybe three nil at half time, and the player just taps out, your opponent just taps out. So I think if somebody's going to sit there and, you know, I mean, expect, you know, us to believe that you're going to win a game legit, 25 nil or 25 one or whatever it is you're going to score you're going to score 25 goals for 15 games in a row yeah i mean there is a lot of issues now what they've actually said on this was that they're going to like gray out the players so we are going to know who they have actually banned instead of just removing them they have removed a few but instead of just removing them i think they're just going to gray them out um so it is going to be interesting to see but let me know what you guys think have you actually played the eFootball open me personally, I've hadn't I haven't really had the time to go into it. I went in and played one or two games. Um, but yeah, my bigger my bigger kind of thing is V1.1.4 because lads, I'm really struggling at the moment. You guys know me that like I loved V1.0. I played so much of it. I played the divisions from division 12 all the way up to division one. I enjoyed it. I had a couple of bad games, but most of my games were brilliant. Like they were exciting, they were fun, they were fluid. I kind of felt like I was losing when I deserved to lose one or two games that were a bit dodgy uh, connection wise or I got screwed or whatever as you know it happens. But most of the games I was playing win, lose or draw, I felt like I was in control that it was like right if I got that guy again or if I get one more chance I'm going to bang it in or if I just hadn't over hit or under hit that pass or shot I might have changed the result of the game. Whereas I think for the last month for me, at least the last two weeks where I've been playing it a little bit more regularly, it just seems to be really chaotic at the moment. That's the best way that I could put it. So we are going to switch over and show you a couple of clips to maybe back up what I'm trying to talk about. And I want to get you guys to give me your you know, opinions on it as well. Like what is bothering you? Um, what are you not enjoying? What are you enjoying? I still think that there's a game there, but you have to polish so hard now in the games, in my opinion, to get those good passages to play. Um, so they just have a bit of information on V1.1.4, which is the next major update. So we're on V1.1.2 at the moment on console. V1.1.3 is on mobile, and then they're going to be skipping V1.1.3 on console and PC and just going straight to 4. So this update here that they're saying is going to be launching on Thursday, the 21st of July, which is in two days' time. Token of our gratitude for your continued support. All users that have installed the update by the 25th to the 7th, which is a week, will receive a chance deal for the new agent. After installing the update, log into the game and access your inbox to claim the deal. The chance deal will be closed after the 28th. We hope you continue enjoying playing eFootball. So, I think a lot needs to be tweaked for V1.4, lads, genuinely. I think that there's a lot of stuff that is happening. Responsiveness, input delay, player reactions. Like, you know, an interception comes, they're standing around, they don't know what they're doing on the pitch. It's like they have temporary amnesia where they're like, where am I? What am I doing? You know, what's going on around here? Um, and it's very frustrating, especially if you're playing against a good opponent that, like, 
nine times out of ten, if you're playing somebody that hasn't played as much as you and you can see the patterns and you can see what's happening, you can see that you know certain one touch passes aren't playing, so you go to well, wide, or you see how wide isn't playing and you go to crosses, or you see anything isn't working, you can kind of switch it up. You can go to a meta formation of a 5-3-2 or a 3-2-3-2 or whatever it is you want to go to. I think when you're a newcomer, if you're coming up against guys that have played it regularly, they're not going to see the issues as much. And obviously, when I win games, you know, everyone that wins games thinks this, thinks that they're a beast at the game, thinks that they're, you know, Pep Guardiola mastermind tacticianly, and think that they're Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi on the pitch. But when you lose games, then you're more like kind of Peter Crouch compared to Cristiano Ronaldo. But I just think myself that there is a lot of issues and we're going to get over and we're going to switch over. So I'll be back with you in a sec. I just need to move my camera and uh, we're going to get into a couple of clips. All right, lads, so we've gone over into some match highlights or clips or lowlights, I should call these, because this has kind of been the problem I've been having. It's the mixture of collisions, responsiveness, player switching. I'm not finding the player switching too bad. I'm finding that when I switch to a player, you can see the collisions here. I mean, look at this, like just falling into each other just barely touching off each other and goes down. And again, here you can see the collisions between the players. And this kind of completely throws away his defensive side of the game as well because it's a player taken out. And again, you can see here, I don't mind missing chances like this, lads. Like, I do miss, I do like missing chances like that, though. Huge heavy touch from Messi. Um, and again, this is a good example of a game, right, where I was playing this guy. And no disrespect to this guy, we'll see it in a future episode of mine. Um, but this guy, you know, wasn't, uh, like he was a good player, right? He was a good player and he was doing what, what went well and he got a good win against me, but I just literally could not control my players. You'll see in a couple of instances here, I get off to a flying start, but you'll see a couple of episodes here and you know, when you lose a game, it's always easy to say that it's the game, it's the game, this it's the game, that, but when something is so slow and you know, your passing is like stuck in mud and there's mistakes happening that you're not used to happening and you're not intercepting the ball the way you should be intercepting the ball. Um, you know, I kind of play a game of, you know, press and then hold. And this was kind of a game of like press and get lucky. That's kind of how it was. I don't mind conceding goals like that. I mean, it's scrappy. It is what it is. But like stuff like this, right? So I bum rush forward and then I get back here with Carlos. I cut the passing lane. Beautiful, grand, defended perfectly. But then Carlos decides to go on the outside of Kevin De Bruyne, even though I'm trying to get him to chase the ball, not the player. He goes behind, gets a gap open, and it's in the back of the net. Again, very well taken goal. Again here, I don't mind really the contextual stuff needs to be toned down a little bit. Collision system again, touching, touching, touching. I'm true here. It's a shocking true ball. And then what happens here? The players just have no idea what they're doing on the pitch. It's like that they're just kind of waiting. It's like, no, you take it, you take it, you take it. I don't want it. So I do eventually kind of keep recycling the ball, keep recycling the ball to get a chance. But it's just so like much work. I think that should have been a pen as well. If it was anywhere on the pitch, it probably would have been a free. But there's just so much work to actually get some fluidity in your game now compared to what was with B1.0. So Again here, I'm trying to do what I always do and what people in comments will say to do a lot of the time as well in the replies. Keep it patient, don't be pressing anything, change up your play a little bit, be patient. That's a good effort. He gets a, con a contextual defensive maneuver with a header that I just don't know. He's done nothing to do that. I'm wide open at the back and that is the turning point. I get on goal side of him, I can intercept it. Neymar stops running. I get on goal side again here and look, the balls and the players have just no interest in getting the ball. I even defend that and it still nearly cost me a goal. Again, here you'll see it works for you and it works against you. This time it works for me. But watch the touch from Messi. That's just a normal. I'm not even pressing sprint there, lads. It's just because I'm obviously holding um, the defensive side of the game. His momentum has taken him through here. Look at this for a big, huge, heavy touch on his left foot. And I get lucky enough here. Again, you know, Badashili, Badiashili uh, ball just flowed past him. Um, and that was a very unlucky one for him as well. So... I could go on and on and on and on, but I want you guys' thoughts. I want you guys to let me know if you're seeing any of this stuff and what you would like to see improved in V1.1.0. And then we're going to do a breakdown and a review of V1.1.0 or 1.1.4 on Thursday. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.